Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing 500 Days of Summer, which is about Tom and Summer, who have been, who have just gone through a breakup, and he's heartbroken, devastated, and he decides to reflect on why. And so she, he goes through all his memories of times with her, and tries to figure out why, and, and also in the hopes that maybe, possibly, he could get back with her. So I Deschanel and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, hopefully I did not get that wrong, they're the main characters. Then you have his two best friends, one of them who is also a actor in Criminal Minds, oh my gosh, and then his sister. So, so I Deschanel. I, I really like her quirkiness, her weirdness, that funny, whimsical bit of her, like, this really cool person, and you find yourself smiling just seeing her. So, seeing her in this movie was just a, a delight. I, I did like her. I did find her a little bit frustrating at times, and I think, I think she did such a wonderful job in becoming this character, and I was really mad at this character at Summer, like, I just couldn't, I couldn't stand her. Um, in the sense that she was pretty much pulling this guy along, and yeah, she said that she was wasn't she wasn't looking for a serious relationship, but she should have known there was so many clues that he was way way serious about this relationship. So I just couldn't understand why, you know. And I guess that's why it frustrated me so much about Summer is that I couldn't I can't understand how someone can pull someone along like that and make them think that you know but then also he should have gotten some of the clues that she wasn't into him either. But I guess that is our tendency to pull shades over our eyes about things. And Joseph Gordon Levitt like really pulled off being this character who was just so oblivious and yet you just felt for him so deeply because you know that he really loves this girl, and I think that's why part of the, part of it was why he didn't really see the truth. It's because he loved her so much that he put shades over his eyes in the hopes that maybe one day she'd actually fall in love with him. That kind of a thing. And then you have the two best friends. I think that these two guys like did well in like helping you to like understand what was going on with this guy. You had him bouncing off his feelings towards this guy, getting mad at this guy, and it was just this comical relief on both sides. Then you have the sister, which I found kind of weird for her to even be there. For one, she's like eight to nine years old, and she's giving him advice on dating. And she sounds way too experienced for an eight year years old. It just doesn't make sense to me. An eight year old being able to give you dating advice? No. So I felt like it was that was unrealistic in that sense. So the story itself I really liked liked it. I found it refreshing that the ending wasn't the perfect happily ever after. You know, I'm not gonna say what happened, but it was just like, eh, you know, I was happy for it. And it wasn't like I really cared for them to be together. Like, I understood from the very beginning that most likely it would never happen. I kind of got that sense because there's this really unique part of it. There's a narrator. And what I really loved about it was that it was there very rarely at the beginning, I think maybe once in the middle and then at the end. And I loved the narrator's voice. I thought that whoever they chose did a really well job in keeping with the mood and this this quirkiness of this movie. You know, when I saw this movie, I thought it was going to be a love story, like the typical love story of him reflecting, and then he goes after her, and they, you know, she realizes, oh my gosh, I am in love with you, and they get married, that kind of thing. But it wasn't like that at all, and I love that about this movie. It was completely different from any uh, other romance movies. And I don't think I really could really call this a romance movie, it is about love, and so it's just all these different things, and it's so different, and like the way they filmed this movie with the drawings and the angles and the artistically well done filming, it was just 
I, uh, I like. I think what I liked best about it was how they did certain scenes and the way that they integrated drawings because he wants to be a architect. I felt that fit well with the fact that this is actually really about Tom and he's very artistic. And the music, like, in this m movie is just fantastic. I loved that they used Anna Spectre. I think that that was her. Maybe I'm wrong, but it really sounds just like her music. So if it's not her, I apologize. It was really great because it, she has a quirky voice, I feel. And so it fit really well with this movie because I feel like this movie is completely quirky and it's just so different and just wonderful to watch. So I give this movie a 5 out of 5 stars. If you've watched this movie, you can leave video responses, comments below. And yeah, that is it from me. There will be another movie review in coming out in the next few days, maybe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace! Uh, Gordon Levitt. Gordon Levitt. I hope I got his name wrong. I mean... <laughs>